Geil. We're here now with the head coach of the Hunting Hills High School Lightning, Kyle Sedgwick. And Kyle, before we talk about the game itself, maybe just talk about the significance of the game. This Hunting Hills program has been around for a lot of years now, and finally they're on the cusp of perhaps winning a first ever championship. Yeah, it, it is big. It's the uh, 16th season of Hunting Hills football, and uh, and uh, only the second that I've been involved with the guys here. But there's uh, there's a lot of talent here. There's a lot of veteran players, and uh, this is very important. When I played in this league back back in the day, I played for Notre Dame, and I was lucky enough to go to three high school championship games and I didn't win any of them and and that's something we've kind of talked about you can't take it for granted you can't assume that the guys next year will be there and obviously the grade 12s this is the last shot so we want to uh, continue this I mean 9-0 is a great start but uh, it doesn't matter if we don't uh don't come out on Saturday on top, and uh, nine and one isn't uh, isn't a great finish because we still have to win this game to go to provincials as well. So the work is far from over. That being said, what are some of the biggest keys, or start off with the biggest key to what will give you success against Camrose in the final? Well, we just have to be we have to match them physically, uh, talent wise. They got a lot of players that are very good, and so do we. And when we played them the first time, they beat us up physically, and they were prepared for the game in that regard. And I don't think we were. It was a, it was the first real physical test we had of the year, and that's kind of their thing. They they try and uh, grind it out hard on the uh, on the ground and if we can eliminate some of that some of that first down yardage and then take away their aerial attack with the best receiver uh, in the league definitely a top five player in the province will be okay but we got to match them physically yeah for sure get that physical dominance established and you touched on it with Tyler Henry leading that very potent Camrose Trojans aerial attack that's going to be quite a challenge yeah for sure I mean we, we, we talk about their offense and how their aerial attack works which is something that's you know not not uh, not used in high school that often and they've got that but a uh, one thing that we got to put a lot of attention towards is their defense. Uh, they held Lacombe to 13 points, six of which came on the last play of the game. So basically seven points in that semifinal, and that was a team that scored 240-something points in the regular season. So we have to make sure offensively we can we can try and find some things in their defense. They move guys around, they try and confuse an offense, and that's what they did against Lacombe. So it's, it's going to take uh, it's going to take everything on Saturday. Ball control sounds like it's going to be a key part of this football game on Saturday, and with that two-headed monster you have in the backfield, that could play a big role. Yeah, for sure. I mean, those guys have run uh, extremely well for us all year. Our O-line's blocked very well. We got to hold on to the ball, right? Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter what level, what uh, what playoff situation, or who you're playing. If you have turnovers and and if you lose field position battle, you're fighting uphill. So yeah, we have to keep the ball. We got to get positive gains on first down when we run, and and we just got to make sure we control the ball. And then we got to, you know, the best way to control a good offense like they have is to keep them off the field, and that means we have to keep the ball on offense. Yeah, funny how, despite all the good things you've done throughout this season, like you mentioned, nine and zero, including a playoff victory over Stetler, it all comes down to one or none. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, our kind of goal actually after last year going into this year was making history and uh, and so we wanted to finish first in the regular season, first for the school, did that, host a playoff game first for the school, did that, win the first playoff game in the A-side, did that and now it's just we've got all these small goals and they all go in order and uh, these guys understand and they, they don't want to leave it short. They're not, they're, you know, they, they walk around school and people are congratulating them and they say, you oh, know, thanks, but there's still a long way to go. So the mentality by these guys is, is right right now. A great opportunity awaiting head coach Kyle Sedgwick and the Hunting Hills Lightning as they take on Camrose in the Central Alberta High School Football Championship game.